Hi guys, so if you've been watching some of my recent videos, you'll know I'm currently making a Warhammer 40k chess set. And I'm really pleased with how it's coming along. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of the Orcs done, just a few more to go. And I've just recently started doing the Space Marines. But as you can also see, the chess board I've actually made, uh, it lights up, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And once all the figures have been painted, I will be doing another video showing, obviously, how I made this, this board and lit it up. So I'm doing, doing the uh, Space Marines at the moment, and I've got this lovely big combat patrol box, which I would highly recommend anyone getting, as well, as you can see, there are a ton of figures in it, which is pretty awesome, as well as a tank, so I'll be doing that at some stage. Obviously these little bases, well, we don't need the bases, as you all know, I like to do clear bases. Obviously these ones I do need. And in today's video, I'm going to be making the, uh, the Bishop chess piece equivalent. So I was lucky enough to receive this lovely box from Chaos Cards. They are based in the UK. They do deliver worldwide. So link in the description, guys. Go check them out. And I do have a discount code you can use, which is CHECKMATE, all in capitals, which gives you 5% off any spend of £30 or more in their miniatures category. So yeah, good enough reason to go along and buy some stuff, guys. As previously mentioned, I'm going to be making the Bishop sort of chess pieces. And I really like these guys with their cloaks, just because I think, well, bishops, they should be wearing long cloaks. So I'm trying to make the chess pieces sort of easily recognisable, uh, just so when we, obviously you are playing a game of chess, you can tell which pieces are, are which, and as well as obviously telling your opponent's pieces what they are. So yeah, I really like these guys with the cloaks, but I didn't like the fact they were obviously kneeling down, as I kind of want them, well, standing up. So that's why the first thing I did was cut off the, uh, the lower part of the body, uh, so obviously get rid of that kneeling in bit. Then I assembled sort of the, the bits that uh, well that were there. Um, goes together really easy. Uh, love to say, lovely looking figure. And I've got this other Space Marine that I kind of started building some time ago. Uh, but obviously doing a little bit of kit bashing here. I'm going to cut off his upper torso just to have his uh, well, his waist and his legs. And yeah, it'll fit nicely. I uh, just need to trim away a bit of the uh, the back of uh, of these legs and his uh, well his bottom just to make him uh, fit in nicer. Um, yeah, good old snip, snip, snip. Obviously, these bits you won't really sort of see, which is kind of why I wasn't doing it too neatly here. I was just, well, hacking away. Uh, but the great thing I love about these figures is their plastic is nice and soft, and it's easily cuttable with just, obviously, cutters. And there we go. Yeah, he's got together really well. Um, didn't like the gun either. The gun was kind of like a bit too, well, it was a sniper gun, so it was obviously sticking out too far. And obviously the other thing I'm considering when I do make these figures is that when they are next to each other, they're not going to be like poking each other. Obviously these are going to be on 14mm bases, so it's quite large. But again, I think this gun was just sort of sticking out that little bit too far. So I recently found, rather than trying to drill these out, which I have a lot of problems with, uh, my little scalpel here gets in nicely, uh, a few little twists and turns. And yeah, it's a, it's a really good job of drilling out the barrels, well, without the drilling which is pretty cool. And there we go, my two bishops already assembled and ready for the good old slap chop painting, which you guys all know is my go-to now because, well, it's a game changer for me as I now love painting. Usual thing, get all the uh, the paints that I'm going to sort of think I'm going to use, uh, get them all nice and ready just to make it easier and quicker for me to get these, these dudes painted. And obviously I have painted some of the, uh, the Space Marines that are the pawns, so these are going to be done in a very similar style. And I'm using the Magic Blue from Speed Paint. As, so yeah, this is the one I used for the other Marines and really liked how it came out. As you can see, these miniatures have already been primed in black. And then a good old dry brushing with a grey. And then a dry brushing with a white. To get them to obviously this sort of, um, well this sort of stage. And then yeah, it's simply just a case of painting, painting the Speed Paints or Contrast Paints straight over. So these guys were pretty quick to paint as, well, there's not really many colours in these. Uh, I did kind of mention this when I was doing the pawns, that as much as I like the Space Marines, because they are nice, big and chunky, I, I do obviously prefer Orcs as, well, there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more sort of colour and, well, I, I just love Orcs anyway. I think they're just fun guys. So, yeah, so these guys really didn't take too long at all. Obviously, there's only the two of them, two of them as well. Um, so, yeah, yeah, went together really, really nicely. So I have got a rough idea of what um, what other miniatures I'm going to use as the chess piece equivalents. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'd like to know what you think I should use. 
So obviously with the um, the Space Marines, I still have the uh, the Rooks to do, uh, the King and the Queen, as well as the Knights. And for the Orcs, it's the uh, the Rooks and the Bishops to do. And then yeah, this chess set will be complete. So I am looking at sort of going to one of the um, sort of like a local hobby shop and sort of leaving this with them for a month or so, just so it's sort of on display. So if you are in the UK, uh, yeah, you'll be able to pop along and well, possibly see see this in all its glory. And if I can arrange that, then uh, then yeah, I'll let all you guys know where it's going to be. So for the cloaks, I didn't really want them to be sort of like camouflaged. I wanted them to look more like uh, well, like night sort of cloaks. So doing it in a nice sort of cream colour, not using a, a contrast paint here, just using a normal sort of uh, solid colour. And then I'm going to do a sort of a wash over over the top. Um, yeah, this is something I've done previously for quite a few of my sort of D&D &D figures. And yeah, I really liked how they came out. Uh, with this guy, um, yeah, I kind of liked it. Uh, I think the problem is I'm getting so used to liking the contrast sort of style paints over the, um, the dry brushing. Because uh, obviously it gives it so much more, well, I don't know, variation in colour and sort of highlights and shadows and all the rest of it. Um, when I did this sort of technique, which say so this is what I used to do in the past, was obviously normal colours and then a good old wash over the top. Um, as much as I did like this on my old D&D &D figures, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if I like it on this or not. Um, I don't sort of like dislike it. I think it's more of a case of I don't like it as much as, well, as much as I possibly should. But uh, either way, I'm sort of, I'm saying I'm roughly pleased with how, how the cloak has come out. And yeah, I think the figures look uh, look pretty cool. And then it's just a case of taking these guys off the, uh, the paint and handles uh, and then putting them on their clear bases. Uh, as that's what obviously I'm going to be using for the, uh, well, the, the chest set. All the pieces are nice and clear. Uh, apologies, not too sure what's happened with the, uh, the video here. I think it's a case of my, uh, my PC, uh, well, it's seen better days. So the bases I'm using are from Fluid 3D Workshop. Uh, link in the description, guys. All kinds of uh, bases they do there. Obviously, the clear ones that I like using as well as your normal sort of Warhammer or miniature figure uh, black bases. But um, yeah, go and check them out as they do, well, a whole variety. So as I obviously am magnetizing all my pieces just so they stay on the board. Um, well, if you wanted to, you could lift the board upside down. Don't know why you would, but uh, I like the idea of all the pieces being magnetized. So yeah, simply a case of uh, drilling a little hole in the middle of each one of these uh, and then popping some magnets in. Because these bases are sort of like twice as thick as uh, the normal ones I use, um, I'm kind of using two magnets in these just to obviously fill it right up. And I've got my little uh, my little magnet holder thingy here, just makes things nice and easy. And then yeah, just pop them in. Uh, job done, nice and simple. <laughs> um, yeah, can't say anything more about that. It's uh, yeah, it works a treat. And so I just love the fact that the pieces are now sort of magnetised, um, but obviously still on lovely clear bases. So as much as you can see the magnets, they, they don't sort of look too, uh, well, too out of place, really. And then it's simply a case of getting my figures and, yeah, gluing them down to the base. So I, the glue I use is just, just a real sort of cheap super glue from good old Amazon. Um, yeah, no more to say about that, really. Sort of glue them down, hold them for a little bit, and, yeah, job done. I hope you guys are enjoying the making of this chess set as well, as much as I am. As I say, this is something I've been wanting to make for, well, for the past couple of years. Uh, but never sort of managed to do it purely because I didn't like painting miniatures. But as we all know, that's all changed now. And as I love painting miniatures, yeah, it seems a perfect thing to make is the, uh, oh, the chess set I've always wanted to make. I just wanted to say a big thank you again to Chaos Cards for sending me the lovely big patrol box. As, yeah, that's obviously helped me get a lot of these Space Marines done. And don't forget, link in the description to their website and use my code CHECKMATE and get 5% off. Uh, the prices are already really reasonable. So yeah, a little bit more of a discount is pretty awesome. So I'd also say a big thank you and shout out to all my lovely patrons for helping support the channel, making it possible for me to keep making these videos, as well as my sponsors, Any Cubic and Easy Roller Dice. Okay guys, like, share, subscribe, leave those lovely comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.